Robbie Ray was one of Major League Baseball's feel-good story in 2021 with the Toronto Blue Jays. He led MLB with a 2.84 ERA, a 1.04 WHIP, and 248 strikeouts on the way to winning his first Cy Young Award. After Wednesday's loss, however, Robbie Ray is now 4-5 in the 2022 season with a 4.75 ERA. He's actually two losses away from matching last year's total, and his ERA is close to two runs higher than last season. That was a pretty flat slider that time from a Robbie Ray. So what happened? That is what we're going to get into in this video. Quick reminder for everybody to subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming content and hit that like to show your support for the channel, for the video. Let's get back to Robbie Ray. Robbie Ray's Cy Young campaign of 2021 also happened to be his walk year, a year when you'll see players up their performance in an attempt to raise their value to get paid in the looming offseason. I'm not saying that's what happened with Robbie Ray, but it is interesting that his best season came in a show-me-what-you-got season. Now, during the offseason, the Blue Jays had a big decision to make. Resign their Cy Young winning Robbie Ray or someone else. Complicating the matter was Robbie Ray's vaccination status. Now, in the end, the Jays went with Kevin Gosman, inking him to a five-year, $110 million deal. Hours later... Robbie Ray signed a five-year, $115 million deal with the Seattle Mariners. Was it Ray's vaccination status, or was it what we're about to look at, or maybe a little bit of both? First, let's look at what helped Robbie Ray shine in 2021. Not only did his fastball velo increase from 92.4 in 2019 up to 93.9 in 2020, all the way to 94.8 miles an hour in 2021, but his slider also started coming in hotter. In 2019, it was 84.5 miles an hour, up to 86.6 miles an hour in 2020, and in 2021, up to 88.6 miles an hour. We saw incredible control from Robbie Ray as well. A career 4.3 walks per nine pitcher heading into last season. He posted a career low 2.4 walks per nine. And he did that by throwing exactly 50% of his pitches in the strike zone. In 2020, it was at 43%. In 2019, it was at 44%. In 2018, 45%. In 2017, his other really good year, all-star year, he was at 47%. So 50% pitches in the strike zone is a very high rate for Robbie Ray. Now, the third element that helped Robbie Ray reach that Cy Young level was his strand rate, or left on base percentage, which was an incredible 90.1%, nearly 20% higher than his career average. Now, with runners in scoring position, he allowed just a 161 opposing batting average. Unfortunately, that is something that is very hard to repeat. And that's one of the things that are happening in 2022. We're going to dig into 2022 right now. Let's look at what's happening. His velocity is down, not just on the fastball, but more impactfully on his slider. Now, the velo dip on the fastball hasn't hurt him that much. Batters posted a 222 batting average against the fastball last year, and this year it's at 213. But the slider last year, when it was coming in at 88.6 miles an hour on average, hitters only posted a 162. This year, they're hitting 227 on the slider, and he's throwing it about 10% more than he did in his Cy Young season. Now, he is still pounding the plate. 50% of his pitches are in the strike zone, but the walk rate is up from 2.4 to 3.3 per nine, in part because that slider is less effective. He's counting on you to chase it, and it isn't happening as much this year. Last year, his chase rate was in the 70th percentile. This year, it's in the 43rd percentile. That has led to 21 walks, which to this point is tied for 7th most in Major League Baseball. If that slider and fastball aren't working together, they aren't coming in at a correctly desired speed, you're just not going to get the same chase rate, and that is hurting him. 
And the other element, the third piece, the strand rate, which was that incredible 90% last year is down to 68.1% this year. And his opposing batting average with runners in scoring position is 208. Still something you'll take, but that's 47 points higher than last year. Now the Mariners are counting on Robbie Ray to find that Cy Young form. And until these contracts are up, Robbie Ray and Kevin Gosman will be compared to one another until the end. Right now, the Jays with Gosman are looking good, but it's still early. It's just not that early anymore. We're 10 starts in. That's one third of what you're going to get from Robbie Ray this year. And he doesn't have Pete Walker, who's got that Jays rotation humming, to lean on to get back on track. We'll hope and we'll pull for Robbie Ray regardless. How do you think Robbie Ray will do the rest of the way? Comment below and let me know what you think. And be sure to like to support the video and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming content. I will add some links to some of the other videos that I have posted for you to check out here now. Appreciate you spending some time with the channel and thank you for watching the video.